Gamesys was founded back in 2001. It originally started as a software development company in the UK, in London, but then progressively moved to online gambling. We have 1,300 people across 19 offices and are supporting six data centers globally. Our mission from a business point of view is to thrill our players with the content we provide. The customers always expect new content or else new features within the games themselves. So, you know, our release train is, is very fast. We need to understand what the product guys have in mind and how we can support their delivery. Before going into private cloud, we had uh, a lot of problems with uh, provisioning new infrastructure. A developer would come in and would say, I would need an, uh, an application to be deployed in pre-production. That application will take something like a week. Some of the problems we were having frustrations from, from the business. We were deemed as taking too much time to push a game out there in front of the customer. So led by our CEO, Games has decided to go on this transformational journey. We started pushing into new things like automation. We started measuring our release tracks so we can see how we can improve. Definitely, all the hardware stack had to be refreshed, but this time around our uh, focus was more on the software side, and that kicked our first deployment of our private cloud. The name we gave it is Gaia, it's a nice name. So it's Games' adaptive infrastructure, because uh, it adapts to the old one, but it moves and pushes forward for uh, new ventures. The goal was to deliver a fast train to provide virtual machines, virtual networks in minutes. Around four years ago, when we were uh, uh, researching uh, how, uh, how to refresh our data center, Infradata proved to be uh, our best partner. Uh, we have engaged with them for the best architecture around our switching infrastructure and perimeter security. Juniper has been with us for a long, uh, long time now. We have our EX switches covering our management, QFX switches using a spine and leaf configuration. Then we have our MX routers for our contrail um, deployment. We have our SRX firewalls. And finally, we have another cluster of MX routers for external connectivity. So we are all a Juniper house. Juniper, with its uh, open standards, make it very easy for us to integrate with various automation tools we use in-house. So developers can easily provision networks to provision virtual machines. We are running over 3,000 virtual machines on our private cloud today, and most of these machines have been provisioned by the developers. Uh, sometimes we don't know what they do actually on, on these machines because they do crazy stuff. So the transformation has helped our IT organization to be more agile and dynamic. People today, you know, focus on, on, on really what needs to be done rather than being focused on supporting tickets that can be handled by an automation. The future is quite exciting for us. We're now a bigger group, we're a bigger IT organization, we have more challenges, but that means, you know, some more exciting stuff to support the business worldwide.